Hey, this is Eric with Cat Avenue, and welcome back to another video. Um, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure you do so. Uh, we add videos very frequently, so um, the videos are all about CAD, AviCAD, uh, MetQ, which is our uh, engineering add-on. So be sure and check that out. <clears throat> um, so today I wanted to talk about blocks and how to save blocks, insert blocks, and so forth. Of course blocks are the same as drawings AutoCAD drawings for those that are new to CAD um, but the nice thing about blocks is they're usable and they can be you know configured in a way uh, where they can save you loads of time if you organize them in the right way I'll talk a little bit about that as well so today I'm going to this site it's just a random site I guess you could say that I found it's called 3d content central is the name of it you have to sign up for it it is free but it's kind of a typical download site that you would find on the web uh, where you could download either um, 2d or 3d blocks and so forth so they have a little search area here and then once you find your block you can download it in several formats so it's kind of nice uh, I'm looking at the it's like it's an uh, ace pump this uh, pump here and I just clicked on this uh, thumbnail here to start the download so that's kind of where I'm at I've selected 2d here I'm just selecting an AutoCAD 2d file and then I'm just downloading it I'll click on this as well so typically, depending on what kind of browser you're using, it's going to put the downloads down here. We'll just say show in folder. And it's in a zip file, so we double click on the zip file. Now at this point, we can just double click on this, the drawing itself, and that opens up AviCAD. AviCAD is a... Um, a AutoCAD like program so a lot of the things that are in AutoCAD are the same about 90 percent of the uh, commands uh, this is a read-only drawing so we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna save it as a different drawing we'll just call it ace pumps give it this so now that we're using the acepumps.dwg we can uh, save these as blocks right now they're just entities so if you click on them over here you'll just see that this is an arc so that's a great way to tell what this really is just by clicking on it and looking over here in the properties palette um, I'm not really gonna want these so I'm just gonna erase them for now just to focus on this one plan view uh, option that they have here this pump so the first thing I'm going to do is is uh, write this to my uh, hard drive as a block select it and then type the WB command for write block a shortcut there uh, let's change this to inches depending on where you are you're gonna need to change this to inches or millimeters for example and uh, here I want to definitely convert this to a block so make sure that's checked this is where my blocks are going to end up. So what I've done is I've created a My Blocks folder in the Documents folder, which is a great place to save because it's easily accessible and you could maybe uh, back this uh, up if you needed to uh, with all your other documents. So, so I've created this folder here. I'm not going to get into how to do that, but um, so this is where I'm saving the block so I choose OK looks like I haven't renamed this yet so I'm gonna go ahead and rename this to um, ace dot drawing or ace pump dot drawing it's a good thing to, to kinda of give this a name where you can actually look at the drawing file uh, without having to open it so um, anyways so that's been saved as a block and also it's been converted into a block so over here we'll say block reference and all this is one piece 
So next I wanted to show you different ways that you can insert this block. So let's go ahead and create a new drawing up here. Uh, in AbbeyCAD, there's really two basic templates. This is the Imperial and this is the Metric, so depending on what you need. Now that we're in a new drawing called Drawing 4, let's go ahead and type the I command for Insert Block. And here we can browse to the block folder and then open it and then insert it. Gives us some options on here what to do. So now this block just comes in like so. Notice that it's inserted by this point here and the reason being is I did not give it a proper insert point when I saved the block. If I go back into that WB dialog uh, you'll see that there's a base point option and I just left these the way they were so what happened was I did not define that. So if I wanted to correct that Let's go ahead and do that. So we'll explode this with the X command. And now these are just entities again. I can go back and write the block again. This time I'm going to um, select the entities. But I'm also going to select the uh, base point, which is going to be right here in the middle. And it's set to inches, which is fine. And I'm just going to overwrite the old block. It's going to ask me if I'm sure. I say yes. And now uh, that block has basically just been replaced. Um, so that when I bring it into a new drawing, let's try create a new drawing now. And I use the insert command. It's going to remember that last folder. It's going to bring that block in right at the where I saved it in the uh, in the dialog. Now it's going to ask for a scale factor. I'm just going to give it a scale factor of one and a rotation of zero. So that's essentially how you save and insert a block. Now, something new has happened in the last version of AbbeyCAD that I wanted to show you as well. Um, and that has to do with tool palettes. So tool palettes are, are a way to define shortcuts or visual shortcuts to this side window over here. Um, so if we right click on the uh, tabs there, we can create a new palette and call this, just give it the same name, my blocks. It doesn't have to be the same name, but. And we can take it and we can move it up, you know, higher if we need to, just by um, selecting that option. Now, if we wanted to, depending on how many blocks you have, you could maybe rename this to, uh, you know, pumps, for example. And then put all your pumps into this area over here. So these could all be, you know, organized just the way you want them. In fact, we can get rid of these things too. We, we didn't want the annotations. We could delete it and, uh, you know, customize this whole sidebar the way we want to. This sidebar can also be used to customize commands, like maybe a favorite uh, CAD command or even a MetQ command. Next, let me just show you how to drag this block into the tool palette. Well, first it has to be a block. So that's the first requirement. So we know that just from looking at this previously. But since this drawing is not saved, we're going to have to save it before we can drag it in or we're going to get an error message. So it needs to be in a drawing that's saved. So just say save. We'll save it as. And we'll just call this, uh, just say drawing 5 is fine. Um, so next we're just going to click on it and then click on it again and then drag it. You see a little white line at the very top that's saying that the block is ready to be dropped. So right now I'm holding down my mouse button. 
I've drug it over and now I'm releasing my mouse button. So it's just a drag and drop kind of operation. Again, if we wanted to rename this, we can you know, right click and choose rename and, and give it any kind of name that uh, describes what this is. Now to insert the block from the tool palette, we just simply click on it and drag and there it is again. So it's just click and drag to put that in. Um, so very, very easy. Um, not sure if I should get into how to redefine blocks, but being that we have a bunch of blocks in this drawing now, um, I guess the power of a block is that you can redefine the block either in the drawing itself or by bringing that block in again with the same name uh, and then redefining the uh, the existing blocks. Next I thought I'd show you how to use MetQ uh, to do this because there's a couple ways to do it but MetQ actually has a nice tool that allows us to edit blocks. Um, so if you um, if you first activate the top toolbar if you don't see that just type in a menu bar is the command and set this to on or one and that will turn on this top bar then you can select MetQ come down to drawing utilities and choose block edit click on the block uh, it's going to ask you um, uh, it to proceed and say yes we're going to click on the block and now we can just edit this block now <clears throat> we could do several things to this block for simplicity, let's go ahead and just change the way that it inherits a layer. Now we can come over here to the color. We'll just say by layer. Now what this is going to do is when we bring this block in, it's going to change to the same color that the active layer is currently set to. So now that we've changed this block, let's go ahead and type the uh, regroup command. So it's RE group. And we'll just select the entities again. And then we'll press enter. And we don't need to rename the blocks. We'll just enter no to that. And that basically just redefines the block. Notice that the other two blocks have also been edited at the same time. And then we bring in this block. It actually has the same qualities as these. So now real quick. Let's erase these and go into the layer command, which is the LA command, and create a new layer, which is here. And we'll just say it's layer one is fine. We're going to give it a color, though, of uh, yellow, for example. And uh, then we're just going to exit. And we'll bring this block back in. Just click and drag it out. And move this block to the new layer. As you can see, it's inherited that layer color there. So in a way, this video has gotten a little bit too long, but needs to know a little bit more about how blocks work and how to move blocks into the tool palette menu. So I hope this has been helpful, and we hope you have a great day.